Hey guys, it's your coach Dave here and I'm coming to you live. I love coming on live to talk to you guys. I am here sitting on um, my patio um, out in front of my house. I just wanted to come and do this video because this weekend, um, this weekend we had an amazing event with a bunch of coaches and so many times I get messages from other coaches or just people in general about how I became so successful, how Kristen and I and how I personally have been one of the top coaches in Team Beachbody and how I created a six-figure income, um, how it's been done from home, how we built a team of over 1,900 coaches and how we're continuing to grow. And so often people are like, David, what are you doing? Like, what are your tips? How have you built such a successful business? How did you guys pay off like $100,000 in debt in two years? How did you create a six-figure income? Like, what are you doing? Because there's over 480,000 Beachbody coaches right now, and how are you in the top, like, 200 of the company? So a lot of these things that I want to share with you guys, because I get the messages so much, and my hope is that by doing this video that I can save it, and, and I can send it to people that ask, and also if coaches jump on here, I can in fact... Hey, Samantha, I can, in fact, share with you guys exactly what the things I think what it is that helped me become successful. So the first thing that, guys, I want to share with you is that I didn't wait for the timing to be perfect. I didn't wait for everything to be perfect in life, saying, you know, I'm too busy right now to try to grow this business. I have too many things going on. Like, I'm a father. I work full time. I have three kids. And for me, it was seeing the vision and the opportunity that this company had, that this business had, and seeing it and saying, you know what? I'm going to go after that, and I'm going to do whatever it takes to get there. I'm going to do whatever it takes to become successful, because I think what most people do is they're waiting for the perfect time. And it's never going to be the perfect time. We must create the perfect time or the perfect moment or the perfect opportunity. So once I decided that I was going to go into the business, then I went all in. And what I mean by that is that I had this mindset, guys, that I did not need to be the most talented coach. I didn't need to be the, the best coach on social media. I didn't have to be the per best coach that needed to know how to talk to people. I just had this mindset that I will not be outworked. That was it. And I still live by that today is that I try to be a sponge. If I don't know something, I Google it. If I still can't find it, I go to YouTube. I ask a lot of questions. I will stay up all hours of the night until I figure out, um, until I figure out the resolution to the issue that I'm handling. Like my mindset is I may not to be, need to be the most talented. I just will outwork everybody else. And for me, that was the flip of the switch that it didn't matter about the journey and mattered about that I'm going to get to the goal, to the destination, I'm going to be successful in this business, and I'm going to do whatever it takes to get there. So for me, it was I would not be outworked, and I'm going to be doing it every single day. Now, guys, with that, I just shared a picture with my team showing them that what my pay was for the first year as a coach. And the first six months as a coach, I, in fact, made maybe like $100 in six months. And then the following six months, I made a little bit more but it was nothing to break the bank where I was leaving a job or bringing my wife home. Like none of that was in fact the case at all. It was showing that you needed to be and I needed to be consistent every single day. And what I mean by consistent, and I just shared this, like when I'm on vacations, when I'm going away, I'm still doing my workouts. I'm still pushing play. I'm still drinking Shakeology every day because it's so healthy. I'm still being a product of the product every single day day because people so often, people that are following you, people that are watching you, like I am who I say I am. I enjoy instilling value and helping people every day. I will work out and exercise every single day. And too often, I think so many people, they say things, but that's what they say with their mouth. And people don't get out of life based on what you tell them. People get out based on who you are. So if you are, you are who you say you are when it comes to being a Beachbody coach. Are you pushing play every day? Are you drinking your Shakeology every day? Are you being consistent? Like, no matter flipping what. Not if your kids get sick, you skip. Not if you're stuck at work. Not if you have a death in the family. Like, it doesn't matter because life doesn't care. Like, we all go through our struggles, and that's life, right? These are the circumstances of life that happen. But I refuse, no matter what it was with life, I was consistent 100% of the time for years, 
all right? I became a coach in late 2010. I really didn't start working the business in 2013. I started dabbling in the business probably for those first two years, and then I was all in for three years. No matter what, I have faced death. I have faced adversity. I have had faced sickness. It didn't matter. I was consistent every day, and I made sure that I was a product of the product. Like, guys, you can't share and help people if you are in fact going through your own journey. Now you don't need to have a six pack abs, you don't need to be your after picture, but you gotta be in the fight, you gotta be in the journey, right? We all are in our own journey at different places and there's people out there that will relate to where you are or there's people out there that you can relate because you were where they were or where they are every single day. And I truly believe in the programs and why do I do them? Because I'm a dad with three kids and I'm busy as crap and these workouts help me get off high blood pressure medications and I'm no longer 20, 25 pounds heavier. I'm in the best shape of my life and I directly, passionately, wholeheartedly believe that was directly contributed to drinking Shakeology every day and push and play every single day, no matter what. doesn't matter where I am. I've done a ton of workouts, guys, in between two hotel room beds with my kids on the bed, maybe eating cereal in the other room. Next week, we're going to be on a vacation. You bet I'm going to be showing up every single day, push and play, and getting my workouts in. Guys, consistency. I said that again. It kind of comes in. I jotted some things down. I'm saying again, you have to be consistent, and consistent not when it's convenient right? Not when it's convenient. There's many, many nights I need to make sacrifices. I don't watch TV. I don't watch really sport games. Like when my kids go to bed, which is about now is a little early 740, but Kristen is with them. I said, Hey, I want to go out and do this live video. Like this is my grind time. This is my hustle time. This is my time to work the business. Like I'm not dilly dallying, scrolling Facebook newsfeed. I'm not watching, you know, DVRing, watching episodes of whatever show that everybody watches on Netflix. You know why? Because sometimes in life we got to do the things we don't like to do so we can live the life we want to live. I want to have a flipping amazing life. I want to be able, in two years, I'm going to be leaving and retiring the state police. We already retired Kristen after 14 years of teaching. She walked away from her six-figure job because of this business. But it did not happen without sacrifices and consistency. And now we have goals and dreams to build, not build, to buy a house on the ocean down in Long Island, that's probably going to be a million dollar home. Like that's our goals and we're going to do what it takes to get there because it's not about the home per se, but it's about the memories and the journey of my kids going there and being able to do that with my family, with my kids and create a life by design. Okay. The next thing guys I want to share is that it wasn't, it's not about me. Like it can't be about you, about you. So many people, the reason why that they don't coach and the reason why when they try coaching, they stop because it's just about you. Right? Every, if every single choice you make is just about you, at a certain point in life, you're going to hit something that's a lot tougher than you, and you're going to stop or quit because your driving force is about you. My drive every single day is the people you guys and I'm speaking to, whether it's other coaches I can help or it's other people that are struggling in their health and fitness or struggling as parents or depressed and can't find their own way, and I want to help them. Like, I literally have told people, like, I can't put my head on my pillow at night until I know I instilled value and helped somebody else every single day that I have reached out, that I have followed up with, that I've had a conversation with somebody that I directly impacted somebody's life in a positive way. You will not be remembered by the the amount of money in your bank account. You will be remembered in life by the lives that you are significant in somebody else's life. And for me, my goal every day is to be significant in other people's lives because when I hear other people are succeeding or I hear other people are succeeding in their health and fitness or being better parents or going through an amazing journey and they're succeeding, then I'm happy. And trust me when I tell you, you know, if you help enough people get what they want, you will get what you want. So I wake up every day. I'm not worried about the money. I'm not worried about having somebody get on a Beach Buddy program. I just want to help people. And when I focus on that every day and try to create vision for them every single day, then in fact, that's what leads to success. Guys, the next thing, you need to be surrounded by the right people. So often, you don't even realize it, but if you're surrounded by, I hate to say it, guys, if you're surrounded by losers, you probably don't even realize it, that you will end up exactly where they are and you will be doing this unconsciously. Unconsciously, you will be turning into the product of the five people you spend your most time with. The five people you spend the most time with, you will end up. So you need to check the people that surround you. And for for most of us, for me, what did I do? How did I surround myself with people that lifted me up? How did I surround myself with people so I can grow? Books. Guys, I read about two books a month. Right now, 
I'm reading Intentional Living by John Maxwell. I'm listening to H3 um, by, I'm blanking out on his name right now, an audiobook, and also another book by, I just got it today, Tim Gordon. He was a athletic trainer from Michael Jordan, and it's his books, the books is Relentless. I am constantly growing, because if you want the people around you to get better, if you want your business to grow, you need to grow. You need to work more on yourself than you do on your business. And it's very hard to understand that, but when you're surrounded by what's going on in the news and the media and all the negativity, like right now it's politics, one politician bashing another politician, stuff that's going on with terrorism in our world, all the negative things that are going on, you literally are getting programmed. <laughs> that's why they call it programming, but you're literally getting programmed by just like the world is crashing down. And your brain is a muscle and you need to train it another way. So I surrounded myself by reading and listening to a ton of stuff to help me think differently, act differently, inspire differently, provide more value differently to people every day. And when I grew, my team grew. When I grew, my business grew. When I grew, my income grew. When I grew, my marriage grew. My family grew. Everything grew every single day because I was willing to grow as a person. So really, guys, I'm not here to tell you like, oh, this is how you invite somebody or this is how you follow up somebody. It's not about that, guys. If you have a vision and you're willing to be consistent and you're willing to make sacrifices no matter what, right, if, and you're willing to make it not about you and realize life is bigger than you and about other people, and if you're willing to surround yourself with mentors or books and be in the right environment and you're willing to get to live events and you're willing to have a no matter what mindset that you will be here no matter what, you will be super successful in this business. I am not in the top one half percent of this company because it was by accident. I work my ass off. I'm relentless in what I do. I'm, in relent I'm relentless to help people every day. I'm relentless to grow every day. I'm intentional about it every day. I wake up every day fired up about getting my workout in, eating healthy and clean, being the best father possible, being the best parent possible, being the best dad possible, and be the best coach as possible for my people. It's not about is this going to work. It's not about when is this going to work. It's just I show up every day and it will work. And that's what your mindset has to be. You have to change your mindset. So, guys, these are some of my things that I want to share with you guys about how I became successful in the business. And it all comes down to every person's success is based on their own effort. And for me, my effort is I won't be outworked. Right? So I'm going to go in now. I'm going to do some work. I'm not the best website guy, blog guy. It doesn't matter. I'm going to help people. I'm going to provide value. I'm going to instill hope. And I'm going to be consistent every single day. You will not see me disappear because I am who I say I am. And too many people, too many coaches, or too many people in life fail because they talk. And that's what we do with our mouth. Execution is worshipped, is what Eric Thomas says. What does that mean? When you execute and you take action, because ideas are crap. When you take action, that's what in fact will lead to success. And don't wait for it to be perfect. Just take action. Stop waiting for things to be perfect and go after your goals and dreams. The only person you need for you to be successful in your goals and dreams is that person that you're looking at in the mirror every single day, and that is you. So I believe in you. You can do this. I wholeheartedly believe in you that you can do this because if I can do this, I'm no different than you. I have my vices. I have my demons. I'm all human. We're all human beings, right? But I just have a vision, and I have an amazing vision for my family. I know all of you have a vision, so you need to... Get it, and un it's probably buried in like a like an onion. Unpeel back the layers and create your vision for yourself, for your family. Stop waiting for things to be perfect. It will never be perfect. Create the perfect time, and you will have an amazing opportunity. Bye-bye, guys. Talk to you soon.